In this tutorial, I'll show you how to sew and glue a text block for case binding. I'll also include how to add a ribbon in the process. Here's a list of materials and tools that I'll be using. Start out with 40 sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper and fold each in half, and run the bone folder across the edge. After they're all folded, group them in stacks of four to make signatures. After all the signatures are made, take one and mark the holes for binding. Start in the middle and measure one inch points on each side. Placing the marked signature on top of the others and making sure they're all stacked evenly together, align a straight edge with the marks and run a pencil across the other signatures. Now take each signature and pierce a hole through the marks with an owl. Make sure you keep them stacked in the same order you marked them in. This will make your book more aligned and straight. After all the holes are pierced, double thread a needle and double knot the end. Now we're ready to bind. Start with one signature and make sure you sew the signatures in the order you marked them. Sew into the first hole on the left and weave through the next holes. When you reach the last hole, weave back through till you get to the first. Loop under the thread and tie a knot on the inside. Then return the needle and lightly pull the knot to the outside. Grab the next signature, sew through the first hole on the left, through the next hole, through the right loop below it, then up through the left loop and back into the hole. Repeat this method through the next remaining holes of the signature. Now grab the next signature, sew through the first hole, out through the next, and this time you're going to go through the bottom signatures, loop around the stitch and back into the hole. Repeat this same method on the remaining signatures, always looping around the previous stitch below.
you get to a point where you've run out of thread, don't freak out. Tie it off with a knot on the inside. Lightly pull the knot to the outside and cut off the excess thread. Thread your needle again, sew into the same hole, and continue on binding. When you reach the last signature, continue with the same method. On the last hole, loop under the thread, tie a knot, and lightly pull the knot to the outside and cut off the excess thread. Next step is gluing the spine. I'm using the book press I made to help keep the text block in place while I glue. Take some time to adjust the signatures so they are straight and even in place. Apply two coats of PVA glue. After the glue is dry, I'm going to add a ribbon. Apply glue on the spine about 3 fourths of an inch from the edge and press the ribbon in place and let it dry. For the end pages, fold two thick sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper and run the bolden folder across the edge. Starting with one side, apply about a quarter inch line of glue on the edge of the text block. Then apply the end page. Repeat this on the other side. Place it in the book press to dry. Now I'm going to cut a piece of paper to about 5 by 8 inches. This is to glue on the spine to add extra support and strength to the book. Make an outline of the book onto the paper with the bone folder to make it easier for gluing. Apply glue to the spine first and apply the paper. Then glue the sides. Sometimes glue can get messy, so I use a scrap piece of paper underneath what I'm gluing. Once again, place the text block in the book press and let it dry. After it's dry, I'm going to make a smooth edge on the end of the book. To do this, use a sharp utility blade and slowly cut about a quarter of an inch off. This part is tedious, but the key is to cut slowly and evenly to achieve a nice smooth edge. If you don't end up with a perfect edge, don't worry, there's a trick to fix it. Pressing the edge together, use sandpaper or a file to smooth the uneven rough parts. <laughs> 